we are going to be doing a yoga. So we start with arms and sometimes we um, feel like it's very silly to say om, but om um, came from a long time ago when uh, people, yogis, were trying to um, listen to their souls. So they say that the sound of the earth, when it was absolutely quiet, it said om. So we're going to do some oms. Uh, so get um, comfortable um, on your mat or on the floor and then we're just going to um, do silly alms first. Silly alms are, um, you know, um, things like we're going to, today we're going to do mommies and daddies, some little brothers or sisters alms. So how would a daddy om sound like? A daddy om would be like, oh. A mommy om would be, om. And a baby om would be like, So now we're going to do a leprechaun arm. That is. Those are silly arms. Now we're going to do a proper arm, a serious arm. So let's take a deep breath through your nose. Oh. It makes us feel way peaceful when we say alms. Um, we're going to, I'm going to tell you a story. And when I tell you the story, then you're going to do a yoga pose every time I say that word. So this story is about um, St. Patrick's Day, since we are celebrated all this week, St. Patrick's. So long ago on Emerald Island, and island of all mountains so we're going to stand up and we're going to do mountain pose mountain pose a young man came over from england by boat boat pose to help the people of ireland and his name was st patrick he was a shepherd watching over his master's sheep. Sheep pose. Bah. Now, during this time, the people of Ireland had a very bad problem with snakes. Snake pose. They were snakes living in the trees. Living in the trees. We always do the other one. And there were snakes living up high in the mountains. And there were even snakes under rocks. Child's pose. And even under tables. Table pose. They had tried everything to scare them away. And they tried loud barking dogs, down dog, woof, 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 and up dog, a They even tried kicking donkeys. Kicking donkeys is... 
that's kicking donkeys and they even tried to scare them with eagles vast eagles this is eagle pose and the other side but nothing worked. So St. Patrick's idea was to bring peaceful thoughts to all the Irish people. He met the shoe cobblers, shoe cobblers, and the wood shoppers. Wood shoppers. And the warriors. One side and a warrior on the other side. He even talked to the dancers. Dancer pose. And on the other side, dancer pose. And all of the people in Ireland and taught them that they had to be peaceful. They had to have always peaceful uh, thoughts. So before long, the snakes climbed down the mountain. So the snakes, remember snake, snake pose. And they climbed down from the mountains and out of the trees and left Ireland forever. So, did you like that story? Having peaceful thoughts always, always help us concentrate and have fun. Now we're going to do something called sand salutations. So I was trying to do my um, live on the computer and it didn't work and so now I can't play the song that I was going to play because it's on my phone. Maybe I, if I try No, it's not letting me do it, but we can do it. So, sar salutations, sand salutations are Namaste, Namaste, butterfly up, butterfly up, butterfly down, butterfly down, rattle, rattle, jump, back, plank, pose. Downward dog, upward dog, downward dog, jump forward, rag doll, butterfly up, namaste. So we're going to do that again when I do, when I say, um, when I say one thing, you repeat it. So. Namaste, you say Namaste, butterfly up, butterfly down, rag doll, jump back, plank pose, this is plank pose, down dog, up dog, down dog, Three-legged dog. That's three-legged dog. Other side. Jump forward. Rag doll. Butterfly up. Namaste. Now I'm going to do a little bit of 
pranayama. Pranayama, it's breathing. So after doing all those sound salutations, we're going to breathe. You breathe through you know, in your nose and out your nose. And we're going to pretend that we're going to um, breathe in different color air, like a, a rainbow. So sit down and relax. And we're going to do breathe in and we're going to breathe in pink air. Pink air is going to tell us that we are, you are the best you. So let's breathe in pink air. Pink air is the best you. Red air, you are strong and safe. Let's red. Let's breathe red air. Let's breathe orange air. You are happy and playful. Let's breathe in that. Orange, yellow, you are proud and confident. Green air is you are kind and caring. Let's breathe in. Light blue air. You are honest and truthful. Let's breathe in that. Blue air. You are clever and creative. Let's breathe that. Purple. You are a good friend. And gold. You are more precious than gold, my friends. Let's breathe in that. Now, now that we're feeling a little bit more peaceful, we are going to do a meditation. So in meditation, you say a mantra. Mantra is something that helps you clear your mind so that you're not you only thinking about that mantra and mantra is something that you say so we're going to do peace begins with me peace begins with me you do it with both hands peace begins with me we're gonna say it up high and loud. Peace begins with me. Now a little bit lower. Peace begins with me. Now on your, down on your knees, you're gonna say it whispering. Peace begins with me. Now you're going to say it in your mind and you're going to close your eyes and we're going to say it for three times. I am so happy that I could reconnect with you guys. I miss you all very, very much. And we're going to end our um, meditation with a phrase that I want you all to repeat with me. May the world be filled 
with peace and love, joy and light, and lots and lots of beautiful, peaceful children. Namaste. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this meditation.